Hey, what is up guys? My name is Ajerno and welcome to the second episode of my morning coffee series. Today we're going to cover variables. There are six variables in Java capable of storing numbers. We're going to take a look at three of them today. First up is byte. The byte variable can contain any value from negative 128 to positive 127, 255 numbers in all. It's the smallest variable in Java and thus uses the least memory. It only stores integers. Short is the second smallest variable, ranging from negative 32,768 to positive 32,767. Short is probably the least used variable in Java now, as it was useful in the past for 16-bit computing, which has since become very rare. After short we have int, short for integer. It stores integers anywhere from negative 2.1 billion, roughly, to positive 2.1 billion, and is by far the most popular choice of variable for storing integers. So all of this begs the question, if I can use int, why should I use byte or short? Two reasons. First one is usability. If you know that you don't need a variable exceeding, say, 100, you might as well use a byte, as it simply won't store anything much more than 100. Second reason is performance. This isn't really a matter of processing time, although in large arrays, and I'm talking millions, I found using byte to be around 3.2% faster than int to process. Yeah, not a lot. However, if you're using many, many arrays and don't need the space for an int variable, use a short or byte. Your memory usage will be significantly lower, because instead of storing a million ints, it's storing a million bytes. And that's smaller, by roughly around 75% less memory usage. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back tomorrow with the rest of the numeric variables, long, float, and double. Until then, goodbye.